Hey y'all, out here in, uh, you know what, I don't even know where I'm at. It's uh, Rock something, North Carolina. I'm at Bradley Grace. I'm at the uh, crazy dude with the Camaro's house and uh, he invited me in to shoot some of the, a couple of hot rods I haven't been able to catch out on the road. And uh, one of his buddies, Robert, stopped by with a uh, 68 Pro Street pickup truck, Chevy pickup truck, I know y'all are gonna like. So I'm gonna grab the opportunity to shoot that one too while he's here. So anyways, let me get the camera turned around and uh, we'll find out a little bit about this truck. Robert, how are you, brother? Hey, I'm fine. How you doing? Not too bad. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Okay, this is a '68 Chevrolet Stepside truck, and uh, took about seven years to build the first time. I went through a second build, and uh, a lot more customization on it. Uh, just went through the whole deal again. Maybe you did some things the first time you wish you had done. Now this time you you went ahead and did those. Correct. A lot more changes on this second round. Uh, a lot more customization and uh, inside and out. Tell me what you've done. Let's let's start with that motor. What motor are you running in it? The motor is a 355 uh, Cupid Kent Chevrolet small block. Uh, got a 671 blower, uh, two uh, 750 double pump uh, Demon carbs. Uh, Actually, it's raised up for coolness, uh, more horsepower. It uh, is putting out a little over 800 horses. Uh, a lot of fun. How much torque? Uh, torque, I uh, never actually judged that. Yeah, right. And uh, I can't remember the numbers back then when we dynoed it. Uh, right, I got you. Horsepower is the one stuck in your head. Right. That's what everybody wants to know. So when you put those spacers on, it's not necessarily for looks. It helps the performance of it, too. Helps performance. Actually gets the blower and gets everything, all the components away from the block and help keeps it cool, keeps I that horsepower you. up there. I got you. Do you ever run it at the uh, drag strip? No, sir. Never run it. Uh, was intended for that uh, just uh, look at the show cruise just a true pro street car pro street car right just uh you got all the all the uh, hot rod stuff on it but you don't have the safety equipment in it so like a roll bar or stuff like that that they would you know what i'm saying to go drag race correct uh i did finally put seat belts in it this year well that's <laughs> <laughs> well with 800 horse i think that'd be a good idea uh, but uh, done a little modification, like I say, the dash. Uh, what is, is that uh, dash out of? Is a 98 uh, rear spoiler off of a 98 Thunderbird. Has been cut, uh, shaved, molded back in, fiberglass in, to actually protrudes up, protrudes out, and recessed in the areas. And the console was handmade, uh, fiberglassed in there. It's one day louvered look on the shifter. Right. And uh, actually stood up to a locker shifter, which is a tall shifter. Interior been redone. Uh, is that ostrich in there in the middle? It is ostrich in the middle. That's nice. Like a pearl, too. Uh, it is a cream pearl. Right. On the interior. Yeah, no, that's nice. How long has it been done? Uh, this has been done for two years. Are you happy with it? I am happy with it. Uh, there's nothing else that you can possibly do. You always change things. Right, this right. And that and get but the question look. is, are you changing it for the better? You changing it for the right. Better. I'm saying at some point, a lot of people don't know when to quit. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying they just keep going on and customizing. Next thing you know, <laughs> you got a freak show in front of you. Yeah. But no, I think it's beautiful. What uh, what tires are you running on? What uh, size? The tires is a uh, 18 and a half, 33. Uh, I come down two inches smaller than the actual 31, 33. Right. And uh, it's got a nine inch forward rear end under it. Uh, strange axle, uh, full spool, 456 gear. Uh, the bed uh, is does raise up to a dump a whole lot easier getting your wheels and tires out from under it. Of course, you got to raise it up and even get a jack under it. Right, right. Uh, I had polished metal at one time, and I wanted to go back with a wood look, and I went with, with Brazilian maple. Oh, okay. That's beautiful, and, uh, too. And yeah. something different, as well as the inside being different. You always want to do something different from what everybody else does. No, that's what hot riding's all about. It's making that's it unique. Right. right. So you're saying that dead bed will actually lift up like a dump bed. Correct. Wow. That's cool. I like how you got the exhaust coming out the side there, too. There's nowhere else to, for it to run. It can't go out the rear. And that so that was the only place. That, that was a design of necessity, yeah. Yes. Huh. Have you chopped it or anything? Uh, as far as the top, no. It has not been chopped. Uh, never have looked like the chop top, like right. just too low. And uh, But just overall, it's just a beautiful ch truck. Uh, won a lot of shows. Oh, I bet. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And what color is that? That is a plum crazy purple with moss green pearl shot over it. Oh, no kidding. Uh, 
it actually has a lot more metallic in it when I shot the moss green pearl on it and it gives a green hazing across it once the sun really hits it right. pops when the sun hits catch it. that angle and it's like well there's a green on there yes sir anybody that uh, you did most of the work yourself right yes sir I sure did anybody you want to give a shout out to uh, my wife been behind me and let me do and not take away from my responsibilities that's it brother <laughs> let me tell you what so many people give uh, give shout outs to everybody in the shop including the shop dog and they forget that if mama won't let you do it ain't none of it gonna happen yep. you know what I'm saying if the boss says no it don't matter that's it. So, Robert that's a nice truck brother I sure appreciate you giving me a time to look at it thank you sir thank you folks there you go look at that it's a very nice little uh, Pro Street 68 Chevy step side truck of course I'm gonna get you a clip of it running just hang tight.